Hey there guys, Penguin Recordings here and in this video I'm going to be guiding you on how to install Anomaly Korea on Ubuntu 14.04 and this will be a 14.10 as well. So I'm getting the Anomaly Korea version from the Humble Bundle or the Humble Store. Alright, this is the DRM free version. So after you've downloaded it, head to the direction that you've downloaded it. This is Downloads for me. You're going to want to right click it, go to Properties. And then under the permissions tab, you want to make sure that allow executing file as a program is ticked. This is very important. So after it is ticked, you can click close. Now secondly, we want to go to the top left, go to edit, and then preferences. Now under the behavior tab, make sure that run the text files uh, as soon as the double click is, tick, is selected. This is very important and leave it at that. So now you can simply double click it. All right. And the installer will pop up. You can click next. So the directory or the destination doesn't need to be changed. It's going to install into your home folder, which is good. So this part can take quite a while. I am going to skip ahead into the video. All right. So we are nearing the end of the installation. It is done. Now we can click finish at the bottom right. So to confirm that it was installed, open Ubuntu's dash and simply type anomaly and you should see it listed there. Alright, so for open source driver users, regardless of the hardware you're running, if you're running on a 64-bit system, you're going to find that the game won't run. So there's a little bit of extra work here that we need to do. I'm going to open up the directory in which I opened, uh, which I installed Anomaly Korea 2, which was the home directory, as you can see. Now I want to run it in a terminal. So I open up a new terminal and I type cd space and then I simply drag the folder name into there and it gives me the full directory. I hit enter. Now I'm going to run the executable through the terminal to find out what's wrong. So I'm going to type dot right slash and then the name of the executable which would be anomaly korea. I'm going to hit enter and what you're going to see here is that it says it cannot find the library called libgl.so.1. So what's happened here is that we have a 64-bit version of this library available in Ubuntu, but the game requires a 32-bit version. So let's get that installed. This should be the only requirement we need. So I'm going to do sudo apt-get install libglu1-mesa and then colon i386 where i386 is basically the 32-bit version of the package it's going to ask me for my password i type it in hit enter it asks me if i want to install it i click y and then i hit enter again and now i'm going to let it install so let's jump ahead into the video and when it's done all right so we have it finished installing now note this is only necessary for open source driver users if you're using a proprietary driver you don't need to do this so as you can see, as soon as we've done that, pressing the game, it starts up right off the bat. So you should be good, and I hope this video helps you get the game up and running. So for open source users uh, who are on the 64-bit version of Ubuntu, you will need to do one thing extra. But after that, it should work off the bat. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I hope this video will help you in one way or another. Thanks for watching.